Hello, beautiful Taurus soul family. This reading is set to activate you into an expansion into some kind of opportunity, Taurus. Wow. So there's something that you are making yourself independent from. Okay, let me just say it like that. Something you're separating yourself from, but in a positive way, because that can sound very negative, right? But this is some sort of like lifting away from something you didn't understand, closing a door on something that not only doesn't suit you, but never was quite clear. There's a lot of that going on and it does involve the planetary alignments. Okay, so as you know, I'm not an astrologer. Please visit the sites, pages, books, and there are a lot of beautiful updates on YouTube, um, quite a bit about these very important planetary alignments that are happening. These completions that are happening, some of them you may not even be completely conscious of until you're in it. Okay, Taurus, don't let that worry you. It's in your collective energy that this is happening. So on some level, there is something being restructured in the field involving your experience, but it's bringing you a wish fulfillment. It's bringing you some kind of comfort in your life. And so for you with this high heart frequency of yours, you're operating very much through the heart. And so this comfort is going to be very good for those around you. So it's, it's not a time to go backwards into the old paradigm of false guilt or wondering if you deserve. So worthiness, right? Deservedness and all of that. All of that's kind of what's being restructured or involved in that, okay? But whatever you're letting go of or whatever or whoever the door is closing on, it's a wonderful thing, okay? Because it's going to bring you back into your heart involving your intuition. So that's going to become more clear and involving tangible, solid, let's call them efforts, but we could also say steps, momentum in your business work field of employment, whatever that means, or way that you live life. So even if you're retired, this applies to you. That's a lot of us taking ourselves off the grid. A lot of you are. So this is going to be about just how you solidly live your life tangibly and produce things to bring into your home environment. There's a lot of heart coming into that or back into that where needed. Okay, so if you had heart there, you're going to have more, it'll be more comfort, more of what you need and more of what therefore those around you need. All of that goes together because power in your hands, Taurus through the heart is the right use of power. Okay, so just take that in for a minute. There are activations coming through in this reading about that right use of power. There's something that you know, or do, or uh, there's something that emanates from your field that's very powerful and it's going to affect people in a way that is forward moving through the heart in a way that expands the earth, right? Expands, heightens the frequency, expands the consciousness of those around you. You're going to have access to more resources as well. And these are not necessarily tangible resources. You're going to be using your intuition as a resource that wants to be said, you're going to be using your intuition, which will be heightened. Okay. According to what I'm getting here, you're going to be able to use that to be more flexible and to see things coming to point out resources and grab them when needed, where otherwise you might not have been able to see it. Okay. And you know what? Through your reading, there is 888 and 9999. So abundance, 888, okay? And then the nines of almost there, almost into a new cycle, almost into that expansion. A lot of this is going to involve you being still. You're going to want to get still and go into that intuition quite a bit in order to access what we're going to call limitless possibilities. And it's being called that for a reason. The words are coming out this way for a reason for you, Taurus. Okay. So I hope that makes sense. Beautiful Taurus soul family. I love you so much. And I will talk to you again very, very soon. Namaste. Hello, beautiful Virgo soul family. This is going to activate momentum for you. There's some sort of movement that wants to happen and it's rapid movement. Once it begins, it's going to be like a cascade. 
Put this where it applies in your lives, Virgo. As you know, this doesn't have to be a huge event in your life or very, very dramatic or negative or necessarily what you would view as positive. It can be all of the above or anything in between. And so this is just catapulting you towards some sort of happiness. Whatever this is, is gonna make you happy. Okay, so just allow the frequency of this reading to lift you there. This is in the collective energy, Virgo, whatever's been going on in your quantum spectrum, okay, of frequencies in the information in your field, what you've already prepared leading up to this is bringing you to this moment. Now, in the collective, there's something, and this is collective again, okay? I've got to say that because it is going to be so specifically different for each of you. <laughs> Let me just say that. Any message like this that's very specific, the details are definitely going to vary. But there's something that you're coming to know, and that is appearing to me in this now. So the way that time works is this could be happening for you, you know, in a few days, this could have already happened. Okay. But for me, what I'm picking up on collectively, it's in this now. You're coming into some sort of knowledge, something you didn't know before. All right. And whatever this is, it's like once you know it, it is catapulting you through this portal. It's catapulting you through a doorway that you did want to go through this doorway, but maybe you didn't know how you were gonna get there. Maybe you thought you needed more time or had more time. For some reason, you may not have expected to move this fast. Okay, so the activation might be making sense now, Virgo, <laughs> okay? So whatever this is, no matter what it involves, you're able to see something you didn't see before and you're accepting it. It's like you know it to be true through universal energy. It's your divine knowledge has synced up. You see it very clearly and it is throwing you into this inspiration. Now, if this hasn't started for you, the potential for this is huge. There is great potential, high potential for this to occur for the Virgo Collective, okay? So whatever you're inspired to move toward, if it syncs up with your intuition, in other words, through your mind's eye and your heart, and you feel inspired to move, just know that it's very, very likely to send you into a quantum stream that will bring you somewhere that you have desired to go and there will be a lot of enjoyment, inspiration, happiness, and abundance involved and it will manifest in the physical. You will be able to see it, feel it, touch it, and enjoy it on this plane. You won't have to, it won't just be in the astrals or when you're sleeping and it won't be something you're still planning. That's what wants to be said here, okay? Your intuition is just growing, Virgo. There have been so many leaps and bounds, bounds over the past months and this is yet another bold step forward, a brave step into this quantum stream that's gonna carry you. Before now, you may have felt like there was something you were asleep to. Does that make sense, Virgo? Like there was something that may have been right in front of you and it was just hard to notice or it, you were sort of in a sleep state regarding this. So you're waking up out of this gestational period with this knowledge, with this energy, if you use it, okay? Use this energy. Now, for some of you, you're already in it. All right, so I hope that makes sense and helps you beautiful Virgo soul family. Let me know if any of it resonates below and I'll talk to you again very, very soon. Namaste. Hello, beautiful Capricorn soul family. This reading is set to activate you into a new beginning, but it's like a change in direction is really more what it is. And it's a sudden change in direction that wants to occur. It's like something is either appearing to you now or is going to occur to or appear to you that causes you to make a different decision, change direction, something like that. It's like you, again, will be able to see something because, and I'm saying again, because this sounds like Virgo. Virgo had a similar reading. It's a little bit different though. It's like in the Capricorn energy, there's this energy of detox. It's like energy of repair. It could be around perhaps soulmate relationships. It could be just around self, loving self. 
okay? Merging with your higher self, expanding outward, but bringing your aspects inward, integrating them, okay? So one way or the other, there are things going on in your field, corrections happening, healing happening, components coming together. And it's like it's bringing you over some kind of hurdle, over some kind of hump. You're overcoming obstacles in this way. It's lining up your intuition and it's bringing you to a place. And this is now, this is collective energy, Capricorn, of course. So put it wherever it belongs in your life. But there's this energy of wanting to learn something new, being teachable again. It's like you're going to perhaps learn something new or bring something together in a new way. And because all this is happening, you you will be able to form or may already be forming new connections, more grounded connections that make sense with your experience, with your frequency spectrum. This may already indeed be happening, okay? It's showing up to me in the now, like in the present moment, but the way that time works, time is fluid. And so how this appears is going to vary, but it's very strong in the energy and very favorable to form new grounded connections based on a new sense of alignment after you have had this sort of detox. This could have been a physical detox. It could be an emotional detox. Often they go hand in hand. Uh, so just put it where it applies. And if this is new to you and it doesn't apply anywhere, you may actually see in your experience where you could use a detox in your life. And so basically this is going to, once this activation occurs and you kind of get rolling, finding this new community, there may be a change in direction and it might send you into a new type of task, like a new way of doing things. It could be a new job. It could be a new sense of purpose. It could be just getting busy in some way. Performing a task that you've wanted to perform, perhaps, but didn't realize that you could do it in this way. A lot of this going on right now uh, with all the signs, with all humans, as there's a lot of restructuring on more expanded levels, okay, in the overall human consciousness is what we're saying. So yeah, it's happening with you too, Capricorn, like some sort of reorganization happening in some kind of new direction. Now, this is sort of an aside, but it might apply to quite a lot of you because all of us have a lot of different signs in our chart, okay? So if you're a Capricorn that has a lot of Sagittarius, or you could be a Sagittarius that has Capricorn and you're here, or you could be neither and you have Capricorn and Sagittarius, but there's something about Sagittarius energy and the purging and the cleansing. This is what's coming through. Uh, leading to a new sense of alignment, which leads to new connections. Okay, like a better sense of groundedness, a heightened sense of intuition and trust in your intuition. Okay, and then essentially these new beginnings. Also, overall, there's a lot of angelic help for you all. You're achieving balance in this way and you have a lot of etheric assistance at your disposal at this time. Okay, so I love you so much, Capricorn Soul Family. Let me know if any of it resonates below and I will talk to you again very, very soon. Namaste.